Congressman Andy Barr and the U.S. Secretary of the Interior, Ryan Zinke, have just announced that Camp Nelson has been designated a national monument. So what does this designation mean for not only Camp Nelson, but also Central Kentucky? Well, it's great because this is Kentucky's first national monument. And what that means is we've elevated the important uh, history and story of Camp Nelson beyond the borders of the Commonwealth. We're now on the map, literally and figuratively, for the whole country and the world. And uh, tourists and visitors who want to see the story of America and come look at what happened right here in Camp Nelson, a, a story of the struggle for freedom uh, for Kentucky slaves and other slaves who themselves came to enlist in the Army of the Ohio, uh, to enlist in the Union Army to fight for their freedom, and the refugees, the women and the children who came with those soldiers who lived right here and also struggled for their freedom here too. So why do you think this is important that Cape Nelson is now a national monument? What does it mean to you? Uh, it is important because of the significance of the U.S. culture, of course, and also because of a family connection of my great-great-granddaddy, who was not only a soldier, he was a sergeant, but also he was a pastor. And he organized one of the churches uh, in this area in Wilmore. So I have a connection because of the family connection. Plus, I'm just excited to be part of this one. So what do you think this means for the Commonwealth of Kentucky? I mean, it, it means a lot because one to two million people are going to be able to come and see and hear about the contribution of what happened in Kentucky and the U.S. color Troop. Puts us on the national map, in fact, the international map. It will draw visitors here that are interested in the National Park Service and it will tell the wonderful story of Camp Nelson. That means everything to have national recognition of one of the most important historic sites in the state. It means everything, right? National recognition and it just lets everybody know what we can tell you all right it's uh, an incredible site. We're going to work closely with the state and with local officials in helping to figure out what this park should be for the future. It's not going to be just a community site. It's going to be an American site. So we are all really thrilled. So it's good for economic development, it's good for tourism, it's good for promoting this area and, and this area's economy. A lot more visitors will be coming here now as we True. Start. And thank you so much. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Really and thanks great. to the Historical Society and all that you all do oh, to thanks. promote Kentucky history. Appreciate it. Thank you. If history is important to you, please like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share with your family and friends.